Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, JC, and guess what just released the other day? I know I didn't uh, cover it when it came out, but because so, so many other people were doing it, so many other people were putting out, you know, complete trailer breakdowns and everything, and so I don't want to do the same thing everyone else did, I just want to talk about it, I just want to share my thoughts on what I think about the next DLC and what I think it means in terms of the future of zombies and, <laughs> and how it relates to my theories and such that I had. Um, honestly... I don't even know how it turned out the way it did, but somehow the two theories that I had, which I didn't think were related at all at first, <laughs> somehow they're mixed together. I don't know how that works, but apparently it has happened. I, I don't know if you guys have seen my previous videos. You may have. Hopefully you guys did. I had a dissension theory, and I had a uh, mansion slash house theory. And it's just funny how both of these theories come into play in this map called Buried. Now... The first picture we saw and the first glance at we had is this zombie with the cowboy hat on and honestly it does look, you know, it is a western thing and I, I didn't think it was going to be western at first, I thought it was just, you know, I thought maybe he just had a hat on, why, why not, you know? But, um, you know, after the trailer and everything, you know, everyone figured out it is western and uh, whatnot. But the other stuff that I want to get to is like the location, right? So, where exactly are we in this map called Buried? Well, JC, I don't know. The map's called Buried. Where do you think we are? Yeah, exactly. We're underground. Um, this has been a long theory on my channel saying that the next map or one of the future maps is going to be underground. It has a lot to do with the Argatha theory, etc. And all the hints on all these maps uh, with the uh, mind spelunking books on Alcatraz and all this stuff relating to it. I, I had my dissension theory, which basically stated that instead of ascending to the moon like we did before, ascending from darkness, that we are going to descend into the darkness. And basically, that's what's happening here, folks. We're literally going down into the earth, just as I thought. And another in, uh, another sort of theory that I had is going to come into play, too. Um, this is seen in another clip, though. But first off, I wanted to show you guys that this isn't just like, this isn't, you're not just underground in caves. You are underground in a western style um, town, I suppose. Underground, I guess it's like an excavation site or something. Maybe it got, maybe it got buried, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's going to be winding um, cave systems. There's going to be different buildings you can go inside of. There seems to be a church and there seems to be... A mansion so to speak or or a house um, and if you guys saw one of my previous videos I said that there was going to be a uh, maybe a house mission or a house not a house mission a house uh, map in the future a like like a haunted mansion so to speak and there happens to be if you see this picture right here there is a house in the background and you can see the courtyard of it and there's they're standing in front of the courtyard uh, shooting a zombie with the ray gun. I mean, that looks like a house to me. I don't know about you guys, but that seems pretty close to what I was saying in my video that there was going to be a house with a courtyard. And then I made a Dead Ops uh, arcade video showing that all the maps were related to Black Ops 2 maps. And there was a map that had a courtyard that you played on in Dead Ops. And where are they standing in front of right now? They're standing in front of a courtyard. It might be an Old West house, but still, it's a house and there's a courtyard and they're standing in front of it I don't know what more proof you guys would now want I, I I'm really happy that all this worked out for me and that I got this stuff right but at the same time I'm really intrigued on where the story is gonna take us and how these characters are gonna uh, send off their story it probably won't be as big of a, a bang as moon was but you never know uh, as many of you guys know David Vondar has been tweeting a lot uh, saying that this is going to be the end of the the new characters, their, the end of their story, and hopefully we get the old guys back the next map. I hope, I pray <laughs> that the old characters come back. I want my Takeo back. I want my Takeo, Takeo, come back. But yeah, anyways, guys, I, I mean, there's so there's not that much you can get out of this trailer, and there's not a lot I have to say on it other than the fact that it goes in with all my theories. And I'm very happy about it, and I'm very excited to see what will come of this map and how good it will be. I hopefully, hopefully, it will live up, live up to Alcatraz's or Mob of the Dead's uh, fame, and you know it'll be another favorite map that we have. But you know, who knows? It might not. I'm not sure. 
But uh, here we can see a perk, and honestly, not anybody, like, no one really has a clue what it is. It could be, I've heard recently that it could be, like, a scavenger perk. It kind of looks like a bird, uh, like the outline of a beak of a bird. I'm not sure. That would be a good idea if you could kill zombies and... It wouldn't be a blue scavenger pack, that'd be dumb, but if you kill zombies, you get some ammo back. I'm not sure how that well, would work exactly, but I know Treyarch doesn't like making the game too easy, even though there's circles on all the maps, but it's really hard to stop that. But I know that they do not want, like, a ammo-matic, because uh, in Doris, they were going to have a max ammo machine, and uh, they scrapped it just because it would make the game too easy. It honestly would, if you kept getting ammo... Uh, for buying points, it would make the game too easy. So I don't know if uh, an idea of a scavenger perk would be a good idea. I don't know if it would make the game too easy. I'm not sure. If they could balance it out in a way that would uh, you know, not replenish too much of our ammo, I'm sure it would make for a good perk. And I'm, I am, I'm out of ideas on what it could be. But that's really about it. Here's another clip of the house and the zombie dying in front of it. Uh, and you see the little gates to the courtyard. That's the main thing I wanted to point out. It could be a church, too, but I I'm not sure. It could be a house. could be a church. It looks like... Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure, honestly. It could be a church, and these tombstones could be the graveyard to it. There's just so much speculation. I, I just don't know. I I'm, I'm not sure. But um, that's about it. I mean, we have that one guy who we know can fight on our side if we let him and we know he'll probably be an enemy too depending on what we do to him um, as you can see in this picture we are shooting past him not at him so hopefully uh, that has something to do with the easter egg it probably will knowing Treyarch they always every single gimmick they put on a map they have to put it into the easter egg but uh, we also get some uh, Mark uh, Raygun Mark 2 clips and here's another clip in front of the church church slash house slash building i mean it could be any one of those buildings seriously i mean they've had loads of time to work on this and i'm sure that the map has gone through tons of changes through the development cycle and it could have started out as a house or a mansion with a courtyard you don't know that's just the thing you don't know i mean i i thought the court i thought of the courtyard idea just because dead ops had it in black ops one this is like two years later we're talking about so i mean they could anything could have happened they could have changed a bunch of things that they wanted to. I mean, you just don't know. It's it's a long development cycle, and I'm sure there's a bunch of things on the map that are different or completely scrapped. But um, that's about it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what to make of all this, other than the fact that we are descending into the ground, and hopefully maybe we mend the rifts or figure out what mending the rifts was, or I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a bunch of speculation at this point. I do know that this map was going to be a town and you're going to have winding pathways and mazes and stuff. I hope so. And they could do a lot of stuff with this. They could they could make it really good or they could make it really bad just depending on how they decide to make the gameplay of the map work. If they can make it all claustrophobic like uh, Shangri-La and um, honestly that would be a good map because I love hard maps. Shangri-La uh, is one of my favorite maps. I think it literally it, it comes a close second to Doris. Doris is my favorite simply because of all the fun times I've had on it. But Shangri-La is my second favorite just because of how hard it is, and not many people play it. It's not one of those maps that you go on Black Ops uh, One, and what do people play? They don't play Shangri-La right off the bat when they get back on this game. They play Kino. They play the easy maps, Ascension, Moon. You know, Moon's okay, but. You know it's it's not as hard as Shangri-La, you know? Uh, Shangri-La is just that. It gives you that feeling that you can't really hide anywhere and you can't just camp out and live. You have to constantly be on your toes, constantly moving, going to location from location, trying to live in uh, this claustrophobic like area. And that's what I hope this map is. I mean, it's got the name. It's got buried. How claustro claustrophobic could you get? I mean, really. Uh, so I hope that's what the map turns out to be. I hope it's a really hard map where there's not that many train spots and uh, there's a bunch of camping spots, hopefully, <laughs> where we can hold out as long as we can. And hopefully, hopefully, the Easter egg has something to do with our old characters. It better, I swear. 
Um, if they're going to end these characters, they got to somehow tell us how the next characters are going to get into the next map. But um, who knows with Treyarch? They're, they, they're probably still putting the finishing touches on it right now. They're probably not even finished with it. You know them. They work till the last minute to get out the door. But that's all I have to say about the new DLC. I might put another video about it when the time comes, if new gameplay or footage comes out. But uh, for now, that's all we have. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys um, do believe in the, the dissension theory like I do and that we're going to be going underground. And which we are going underground now. I'm so happy about that. But yeah, this is JC Backfire and I'll see you guys later.